Welcome to the 13th Annual Emerging Farmers Conference. This conference serves to advance the success of immigrant farmers and farmers of color. We are really excited about trying a new format this year. There were three intensive Friday night workshops, seasonal high tunnels, farm business planning, and growing healthy transplants, which was taught in an on-site greenhouse facility. So this heat map does not require electricity. It does require electricity. Okay. I teaching the farmer how to seed it and how to read the variety of vegetable germination and the lot number and tell them how to seed it. Held at the University of Minnesota, the keynote speakers this year were Blia Tu Tao and Pua Yang Tao of Tao's Garden in Wisconsin. The best part is actually hearing the stories from the farmers themselves. You know, listening to the, the keynote uh, speakers this morning and hearing about their life story and how they've worked so hard to get where they are today. And Learning that not exposing to a lot of chemical keep one person healthy for a long time. So once we got in this country, I decided that, you know, Growing vegetable without a lot of fertilizer and chemical will also help my maintain my health and also help my community to be healthy. We decided that we will be organic farmers, that everything we grow will be organic. I am about two years away from my 80 uh, years of birth. <laughs> <laughs> For younger farmers, once you have a clear idea of what you want to do, you just have to be patient, keep doing it, learn how to do it, sustain it, one day you'll be successful. To have their land in Wisconsin and that they, they care so much about the communities and the food that they're growing. They want to grow healthy food with no chemicals. It's really inspiring to be here and, and hear these stories directly from the farmers. But do you see I don't and then roll the paper around it? Not grow. So we So what I want to do we have asset of We'll show us around business planning. Yeah, I think it's a critical part for farmers to you know, start putting together a plan, laying out you know, what type of operation they're doing, and then eventually putting together you know, their financial statements. We are part of the farm credit system, covering three states, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois. Primarily, we provide loan capital to farmers and ranchers. What I, what I learned is how to farm, how to produce, and how to get, get finance. And, and you also, you too, we thank you. 100%. Out of 100%. We are an education service for organic farmers or those interested in becoming organic farmers. Part of our mission is to get as many acres into organic production as possible. One of my notes for next year is going to be to bring about four times as much materials because I'm almost out already. Um, I have gotten the word that there is a lot of food still back at the buffet tables. If anyone wants seconds.
The workshops included topics like growing the best tomatoes, farmer to farmer learning sessions, goal setting, and food safety for wholesale. This year, farmers can also choose to follow a workshop track where they attend all three workshops on a single theme. We also have an all-day hands-on activities room where farmers can stop in and see demonstrations. They can get free advice from a lawyer and do other hands-on activities as well. That's perfect, washing all the way up the arms. Oh yeah, yeah. nice job. This year, we're also very excited that the conference is being interpreted simultaneously into seven languages. Hmong, Spanish, Karen, Nepali, Burmese, Swahili, and Somali. The Emerging Farmers Conference is special because it brings together and supports farmers from many different backgrounds. We accommodate seven languages and we provide training for varying experience levels and goals in small-scale farming. The EFC helps our farmers to network and connect to each other and we hope they leave this conference with the resources, knowledge and confidence not only to be successful in their farming businesses, but also to bring positive change to their local food systems at home.